here with Josh Jackson, uh, my uh, my friend and uh, mechanic that owns Four Star Aero here at uh, Flagler Airport, to talk about a, a go no go decision that I had to make uh, two separate times actually. So the first time um, I was accelerating down the runway, and uh, I noticed that the airspeed should be higher than what it was, and I I felt we should be airborne by now. So I nudged the uh, control wheel back a little bit and the airplane just leaped into the air and as I as I climbed out and paid attention to my climb I said you know um, this is not looking well and the airspeed ended up freezing at 73 knots both on the analog and also on the uh, on the on the aspect on the, on the primary flight display so I asked the tower to come back around and, and uh, at least I had ground speed from the, uh, from the Garmin uh, GPS and landed safely not no issues and I came in taxi to you and uh, you know when I taxi up, I got a problem, as with most of your customers. So uh, you came walking out and I explained the situation and what happened as I just did. So kind of tell me what the, what the thinking process and the troubleshooting process was. Yeah, first of all, I think you made the right decision uh, coming back to the airport and not continuing the flight, even though it was a, a nice VFR day. But, uh, but yeah, uh, it's such a rare occurrence that I, I figured we'll start with the simple stuff first and check for uh, blockage in the PO tube. Uh, so we took the pitot mast off the wing, um, disconnected it, and uh, found, a, found a piece of what we thought was an insect at the time, but uh, it turned out it was a piece of rubber from the, the old decaying 1972 uh, pitot line. So uh, uh, we cut about an inch off of that, well, that, that section of line, got a better seal, uh, reinstalled it on the pitot mast and put it back on the wing, uh, applied a little bit of light air pressure, got, uh, got a little bit of indication on both airspeed indicators. Uh, so we figured, you know, try it again, that should do it. And I was a little skeptical, as, as you know, that's what pilots are. And so I, I headed down and thought through the process, both as a general aviation pilot and as a airline pilot, um, you know, what will I do if I don't get an airspeed indication? So it didn't take long, 1,000 feet, and uh, I had no indication, I stopped. Uh, let the tower know that I was boarding the takeoff. They asked me if I required any assistance. I said no, it wasn't a big deal. I taxied into you. And, um, you know, as an airline pilot, I was thinking this is, you know, this was a little tough for me because, uh, as, as you know, uh, there are certain speeds that we have to continue the takeoff. Um, and if you don't and you, you continue, the, you, you attempt to, to stop and abort a takeoff, you have the potential of blowing tires, going through the end of the runway. And, and really causing severe damage and the potential fatalities and so on and so forth. But that being said, that in my head came back, explained to the situation. You take it from there as far as what you were thinking and um, uh, the troubleshooting aspect that you were going through. Yeah, I think that's definitely one of the good parts of general aviation is that most takeoffs are optional. You got the, you got the runway available to stop. Unlike the airline, when you get to certain airspeed, you're, you're continuing. Um, yeah, after you had that problem, um, I figured We'll get behind the instrument panel, um, check check where all the connections are, and, and see what it looks like back there. Um, the other end of the rubber tubing was in the same bad shape that the the pedo mass side was in, uh, just dry rotted, older tubing. So removed a section of the end of that line to get a better seal, connect it back up to the T fitting that goes to the Aspen and the factory airspeed indicator, um, and uh, figured it was safe to continue from there. And my thought process was, yeah, absolutely, let's spend the money and, and, and make it right. And the other part for you is that you're a pilot as well. You're about to go to school on the citation. Um, so it's great to have you both as a mechanic and as a, as a pilot because you, you, you can integrate the, the, two, uh, the two professions together and understand, you know, uh, understand the situation even better. So it's great. Yeah, it's nice having a point of view from, uh, from both sides. Yeah, it definitely is. is. <laughs>